name's Bobby Coleman, and I play Jonah. Hey, Mark. And Ashley. This is so cool. It is cool, huh? I thought it'd be really cool to show you who I hang out with and show you what it's like to be on set. So come on, let's get started. Welcome to the set of the last song. I'm going to be interviewing... Adam Shankman. Yeah. All right, so you gave me this job, right? I mean, like, you're the producer. What happens on set? Like, what are you doing here? I Blackberry. I sit on my Blackberry and I Twitter. Then I Blackberry some more. And then I go to the craft service table and I have some snacks. And then I email the studio that things are going really well. And then I go to my trailer. Then I go back to set and say, looking good. And then I kind of go home. It's a pretty good job. It's a pretty good job. I won't lie. So that's what a producer does. And now you know. So let's go interview someone else. So this is Warren. This is the guy that if any, like, creepo guy is trying to go after Miley or something or break into your trailer or something, he's the guy that'll stop him. The best way to describe it is I'm the gatekeeper. If you're not allowed in a trailer, you don't get in a trailer. But another thing he does when he's trying to pass time is he whittles these amazing sticks. Hey, it's a Miley! Woo oh, you're showing your carving thing? Oh, wait, I gotta yeah. do mine. Hold on. It's amazing. It's a turtle guitar. It says last song. Isn't that so cool? Look it's at that. That's, that's pretty awesome. amazing, right? Yeah. Pretty Very cool. Amazing. That is so cool. <laughs> Watch out for Warren. This is Tybee Island in Georgia. This is like one of the best things about this film. The beach. It's so much fun because you just like, you're on the beach all the time filming. So in between takes, when they cut, you just go out and look for shells, like shark's teeth and stuff. And also the water. It's like so warm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's one of the best things about this film. You get to just, you're on the beach. <laughs> it's like a summer vacation. This is John. He's the head of makeup. And makeup is just more than just blush and eyeliner. So what are the some of the things you have to do as a makeup artist? Well, we have to do, uh, like, from A to Z. I mean, it's <laughs> like you were saying, Bobby. It's not just beauty makeup. We got to know how to do a cut real quick or a scar real quick. So here on this piece, what we're doing is a cut on the arm. Maybe add a little blood to get the blood out yeah. of the floor. You never know what's going to come up. And that's what's so interesting about it is it's different every day. There we go. Instant cut. You may have to come see me to get it off at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. Well, that is an awesome cut right there. And that's how you make a scar. So this is Patricia, and she's hair. I take care of Bobby Coleman's hair, Liam Hemsworth's hair, and Greg Kinnear. Do you have $400? I have $400. Business. We have thinning shears, razors. And these run about the same. These so, are the texturizers. So what are teeth? they for? Are they for? For taking some of the weight out of the hair when we have really great thick hair like yours. Thank you. This you is are Patricia. so welcome. <laughs> and she is an awesome hairstylist. Oh, thank you, Bobby, and you're an awesome actor. Well, thank you. You're let's, welcome. All right, let's go move on, see who else we can find. Reva! Hello, Bobby. This is Reva Craft Service. What do you do? What do you... I feed people all day long. They What's have... your favorite thing on the truck? Hmm, I don't know. You... Oh. I love craft service. Because... Oh, thank you so much. We <laughs> because love Because of you. the nice people and the... Oh, so good food. And I'm sorry you burnt your arm when you were cooking. You I know. With a knife. Thank you, Reva. Alrighty. And this is Reva, the best craft service girl in the world. Bye, guys. This is Barefoot. That's his nickname because he never wears shoes, just like me. He's a grip. So what do you do as a grip? What, what do you... You pick up heavy things and move them around. All right, easy enough. Look at the size of his hand compared to mine. <laughs> he always picks me up and he's so cool. So I'm about to interview Jazz. So what's your job? What do you do? Video assist, video okay. playback. I sit here and watch you a lot. Yeah, I've, I've been watching you for nine weeks on these little monitors here. Action moment. Dad's looking for you. Well, tell him he didn't see me, Brad. Five bucks and two for Brad. Yeah, <laughs> So you're bigger in person. <laughs> oh, yeah, very good talking to you. Very good talking to you, too, Bobby. <laughs> that wraps us up. That's awesome. <laughs>